are going to be creating a realistic looking stage curtain right here inside of Photoshop. Let's begin. So before we can begin weaving that curtain together, let's set up the stage. We'll do so by going to File, going to New, and giving our project a name, a drama a name if you will. We'll call it Stage Curtain. The preset we are going to be using is pretty much the same we've done in the other tutorials. That's a 1024 768 resolution of 72. Now remember, now you'd want to ideally use a resolution of 300 and not 72. But I assume you're watching and you'll be creating this with me for the first time. So you want to follow the settings that I've got. Because if you were to print this out and use a 300 dpi resolution, the settings for the filters that we'll be using will vary. So keep that in mind. Having said that, let's click on OK. So the stage is set. But now let's start building and weaving that curtain. We'll do so by going to Edit and going to Fill. So we're adding a 50% gray as our background color now. So you can do so by clicking here if yours isn't selected to 50% gray and you have the option just about at the bottom 50% gray select that and click OK so what's next now let's start adding folds in the curtain because if you've watched or you I'm sure you have curtains in your house and if you look at it and I'm having a look at mine right now you'd see that your curtain has these folds right so let's create those folds We'll go to Filter, we'll go to Render, and we'll select Fibers. Look at that. Now we'll zoom out and you can already see we've got these streaks. So basically those streaks are going to be turning into beautiful looking folds. So right off the bat from the Fibers filter, I've already got the effect that I want. For the sake of demonstration, like if you are too lazy to play around with sliders and if you want to create this really quick we just randomize and we'll get these random effects so for me that looks good and play around with the settings if you want 19 looks good and each time you get to a filter you'll notice that your settings will be different because when you look at stuff and uh, especially graphics with a fresh eye you would always want to redo and tamper with the settings because each day it'll look different to you so I'm happy with this. I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. Now this is looking a little woody, a little too harsh. Looks like a bad drama. No, but we're going to soften it up. We're going to iron out this curtain, make those folds look a little more smoother. We'll do so by going to Filter, Blur and Motion Blur. I'm sure you guys are familiar with this filter. Now we want the angle to be minus 90 or even 90 no difference there because we want essentially the streaks to flow from top to bottom so 90 will be fine minus 90 will be fine it's the same thing but we definitely don't want to budge from that setting we want to stick to that as you can see on the dial here the direction of the streaks distance I'm pretty happy with that just want to May, you may want to take it up a bit, bring it down, 473 looks fine. We'll click OK. Then, now that looks a little more polished, but we're not there yet. We want to make this even more smoother. And we want to separate these streaks here. They're attached to each other. They're too close to each other. It looks really crushed and doesn't look as pleasing as what we intend it to be right so we'll go to filter let's iron it out make it softer go to blur gaussian blur and there you can see now we are starting to get this nice highlights in there the shadows are in the right place and it looks a little more silky it looks softer it looks more like that of a stage curtain 5.7 is the last setting i had used for a previous tutorial uh, so for the sake of demonstration let's fiddle around with this you don't want to keep the radius too low because then again you can see that the streaks start to touch each other again let's separate it let's make it softer 
that looks fine 5.5 5.7 you don't want to take it too high because then it becomes one big blur and you don't want that let's click ok we're pretty happy with this now this isn't a black and white drama let's add some color let's add that scarlet red as we would see in theatrical stages those nice scarlet red curtains let's go to image adjustments and add a little hue and saturation now we will not get any color introduction immediately we have to click colorize let's bring make it a bloody red because this is not a horror drama by any means but this looks nice it looks nice and oversaturated red but we want to bring up those shadows now you can see it looks just brilliant it looks great looks like a stage curtain actually pretty happy with that and if you're happy with something don't fiddle around or don't move any sliders if it looks great click ok save your work heave a sigh of relief because you'll be sorry if you change something and forgot what your setting was anyways now let's do a little levels adjustment we'll go to image adjustments and levels bring the shadows in further and the highlights up a bit mid tones in a bit that's fine let's click ok so you can see we've got these nice lighting effects as well it looks like there's light on top that's where you're getting these nice strong highlights here and the shadows look great it looks fine i'm very happy with it now let's add more drama to the drama let's add some text so we're going to be clicking by either you can type a T on the keyboard or you want to select the T from the toolbar. That's the type tool. Now we'll click on our canvas. You can see the blinking cursor there. We'll type the stage is yours. I want to center this. Now I want to perfectly align this to my canvas, to my stage. I'll do a com control or command A. And from the alignment options, I'll do a little horizontal, sorry, a vertical center, sorry, and a horizontal. So it's perfectly aligned. That looks great. Pretty happy. Now let's, let's add a little glow to this text. Let's right click. And from the blending options, layer style dialog box, we'll do an outer glow. Now that's too much of a glow let's bring select the outer glow setting here and bring the opacity down a wee bit so it just looks like it's highlighted in certain areas and not entirely throughout the text happy with the result click ok now the real interesting part comes we're going to be starting to add some lighting effects to this and we're going to be using the brush tool We'll do so by clicking on the new layer icon. We'll call it Bokeh Effect. For all you photographers, you'd know what that is. So it's going to be a Bokeh lighting effect where you get all these random dots and circles that look a little out of focus. That's what we want, just to add a little bit of drama to the drama, to the stage. And we'll do so by typing the B key, B key on the keyboard or selecting the brush tool from the toolbar now we, are in, we need to select a brush so we'll do so by clicking on the brush picker and we'll select a 48 sized hard brush here hard mechanical 48 pixel size brush now let's get into the factory, the brush factory. Let's click on this little folder icon just beside the brush picker. With all these little brushes you can see there. We click on that. Here's the factory. This is the brush factory. This is where I like to hang out in Photoshop. It's the most interesting place in Photoshop for me. There's a whole lot you can do inside here. Let's create that effect. Having brush tip shape selected. Let's increase the spacing 
So you can see that these dots are separated from one another. Let's give it a little soft edge, just so it looks a little bit out of focus on the edge. That looks fine. Shape dynamics. So the size jitter is going to be the randomness and the size of these little dots. So, having done that, you can see that our smallest dot and you know the size varies a little more. So we can define the size of the smallest dot by playing around with the minimum diameter. So if I want the smallest dot to be like really small, then I could keep it like that. So just let's keep it at that for the sake of randomness. Now let's click on the scattering option. Now we want it to be scattered. So let's say about 270, that looks fine. And the count, we don't want too many of the bokeh effect happening or too many of those dots happening. We want to keep that down to just about one. That's like the bare minimum. So one, the minimum setting looks fine. Next, let's click on transfer. Transfer and in transfer, we're going to be playing around with the opacity of the dots. So we want the opacity to be pretty much bumped up all the way to 100, just so there's a little bit of randomness and some of the dots look really out of focus. Then I think that's about it. We'll just close this. We're done with it. We don't need that anymore. Now let's start having fun. Let's start drawing on the stage. Look at that. Look at the effect we're getting. Looks amazing. We're ready for Christmas. And this stage is looking good. We aren't done yet. We're just playing around. We're just drawing. We're just visually placing this bokeh effect these nice dots as you might call them just just add them just go with what your eyes telling you not what your heart's telling you go with what your eyes telling you i'm just adding and filling in the gaps it's looking pretty good it's looking a little overdone but our next step that we'll be applying to this is pretty much a good step because it's going to get rid of most of this it's going to make it look even more dramatic so I've overdone it by adding too much of these dots or this bokeh effect let's go ahead and change the blending mode from normal we'll do a little overlay now you can see we're getting this beautiful looking blending mode where the the dots are now red and it looks like there's nice strong a uh, lighting effect happening there it's not looking over the top but it's definitely looking better than our last setting so let's reduce the opacity let's take the opacity down to say about how about 50 that looks great 50 looks fine so i'm already happy with the result and there you see together we have created this wonderful looking stage curtain now there is no end to what you can do in photoshop if you want to take this further go ahead play around with the gaussian blur take it up more there you can see we've already got more dramatic lighting effects happening but that's basically what i wanted to show you it's getting a beautiful looking stage together and now you're ready to start acting i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial you can be sure that there are many more coming your way. This is Sherman signing off. I hope you've had a good time watching. Bye-bye.